Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a 15 minute total body strength and cardio workout. So are you ready to flow with strength and ease? Starting in squat. And it will be squat to warrior three. You can, you can do a hop or just a squat. Hop, warrior three, really flex the glutes. You don't have to hop. Really engage the glutes in the squat. Fire, glutes on fire. Legs on fire. You can rest in squat, <laughs> preparing for the opposite side. Warrior three. Warrior three. Warrior three. Warrior three. Warrior three. The next one is three pike presses to high knees. So be prepared to move fast. One, two, three. Come up quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pike press is one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Might as well. And wall, get on the wall for bridge presses. One, one, two, pressing every time a little, one rep more. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Posing at the top of the rep, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll change to the other side. Let's go. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, five, one, two, Three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, <laughs> and we have spin jumps here. Squat spin jumps with leg lifts. Take your squat, leg lift, leg lift. Spin, jump, leg lift, leg lift, 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 spin, jump, leg lift, leg lift. Round one is done. Squat to warrior three, or squat jump to warrior three, however you choose to do it. Try to move steadily into the balancing portion. That's essentially a deadlift here.
Rest in squat. <laughs> Until you're crying. I still feel this. It is quite glute oriented. And this is the quick one. Pike press to high knees. Try to be speedy here. Five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, six. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, six. Get on the wall quickly. Increasing, increasing rep. So we're increasing the pulses. We've done this a few times in the booty program. But if you're not familiar, you really can't mess it, mess it up. You're increasing the pulses at the top of the rep. It's very glute oriented, glute isolating. You can rest with two legs on the wall bridges. Active rest, opposite side. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, four, five, one. Another cardio move now, spin jumps with kicks or side leg lifts. Spin jump. Squeeze the booty. Spin jump. Try to keep your knees out. Open. Woo. The burn. Back to squat warrior three combo. Round two is done. Rest, rest in squat, opposite side, smile, we're almost done and you're doing good, even if you're resting, you're showing up, that's what matters, you're doing what you can, some of you are doing more, some of you are doing two classes, some of you half a class and both of these are fine. As long as you feel energized after. Ah, oh, pike press, the speedy one. I'm getting done. Six.
do one super slow one if you can. Uh, and well. Oh. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, You can rest by doing bridges with both legs. Mild. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five, six. One, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, <sighs> last squat jumps. <sighs> Keep the knees out. Stay strong, smile. Go to a wall and place, place your hips on the wall, heels on the wall shoulders on the wall and just observe your posture here if your posture is even if one thing is pulling forward backward if you're crooked up down inhale your hands over the head press the hands into the wall so you need to have heels to the wall but to the wall shoulder blades to the wall and hands to the wall, seven points. And you're going to keep everything to the wall, touching the wall, reach over to the right and see what wants to peel off and don't allow that. Just stay here, look up. Back to center, opposite side. Lengthen, look up. Great, back to center, inchworm to plank, knees on the ground, flip over, lay on, the, lay on your back, inhale your hands over the head, feet can be a little wider than hip width apart and, and again observe. Now we're going to bring the left leg all the way to all the way to your left bring the right leg next to it both hips should be down and bring the left arm out to the left and bring the right arm back next to it both shoulders should be down and stay here take a few really complete exhalations letting the muscles the connective tissue release in the areas that are pulling. Back to center, opposite side. Again, both hips, both shoulders down. Feel that you're in the same plane and allowing everything to release in that plane. You can hold this therapeutic <laughs> therapeutically a little longer after the class feel free or pause the video and hold about 30 60 90 seconds each side 
allowing everything to release. It's another variation of crescent or half moon pose. It's obviously a completely different one, but we're forming a crescent. And back to center. Spread your legs out wide and turn over to the left. So both feet are turning to the left. Open the arms out. And here we're going to reach and grab the big toe on, on the left side with the left. With the left, let me work around Sophie. With, <laughs> with the left hand. And again, try to flatten the hips down. Triangle pose. And opposite side. So you're going to keep the hips down. Open the right leg forward. Reach down. It can be to the shin bone. And however you do, triangle pose. And keep everything, shoulders and hips down. Feel what's pulling and breathe there. Great. And let's bring the knees in. That was just a quick adjustment. We'll go in depth. We did in vinyasa classes, but good to touch up on things on heat days. You can move your knees, move, 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 drawing circles with the knees and press the legs up a few times. Press the heels up, straightening the legs, release, straighten, release, straighten, release, straighten, bend the knees. And it's a quick, deep abdominal core work. So bend the knees, open the knees, and you're gonna dip one heel down, opposite heel down, and the whole time you're pressing your belly in, you can touch it with your hands to make sure that you're really engaging the core. Very therapeutic move. And we are done. Thank you all for joining me today for this quick hit. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below and make sure to like it, to comment, to share with your friends. That's the best way to support the channel. Let people know about it and I'll see you with our next class. Thank you all. Love you. Namaste. And remember to flow with strength and ease throughout your day.